what? I just came from nowhere. Or did I? Did everything come from nowhere? Our home, planet Earth, is a mere speck when compared to the vastness of the universe, and yet this insignificant piece of rock that we live on, which orbits our sun, is unique. In fact, it's so unique that it is the only place in the known universe where life exists. Now, modern scientific thinking agrees that everything might have come from nothing. But what is nothing? Well, it's hard for us to imagine nothing, because on Earth, we are surrounded by things. But it might humble you to know that of all those things, your friends, your home, your possessions, even you yourself, and everything else in this universe, are almost entirely made up from nothing. In fact, 99.9999999% of this universe is empty space. It's all made up from nothing. How is this the case? Well, at a basic level, everything is made up from atoms, which are made of electrons, protons and neutrons. But these atoms comprise mainly of empty space. And if we lost all the space inside of these atoms, we would, each person, be able to fit into a single particle of dust. And in fact, the entire human species would fit into the volume of a single sugar cube. But what is this great void that makes up most of our universe? And why are scientists now starting to think that there is a lot more to nothing than first meets the eye? Well, what we do know is that the Big Bang, a gargantuan burst of energy whose nature and source are completely unknown and not understood, even by modern science, initiated the creation of our universe. Then, suddenly, as if by magic, the god particle, the Higgs boson, which was discovered on the 4th of July 2012 inside CERN's powerful particle accelerator, came into being. Now, this God particle, the Higgs boson, miraculously gave our universe mass. At this point, our universe was a mere primeval soup of basic particles. But then, again, as if by magic, all these particles suddenly bunched in threes to form atoms, protons and neutrons circling a nuclei. All of the conditions in the universe had to be just precisely the amounts needed so that early light atoms could be formed. Larger ones were then cooked in nuclear fires inside stars, giving us carbon, iron, nitrogen and oxygen and all the other elements that were essential building blocks that make up the mass of our universe. And then, eventually, the highly complicated double helix molecule, the life-propagating DNA, would be formed from nothing. But this still doesn't answer our question. What is nothing? Well, scientists now believe that nothing actually might hold the key to the very existence of our universe. For it was in that nothing, the void, the empty space, the nothingness, that the phenomenon called quantum fluctuations occur. In fact, empty space is full of them, it turns out. Quantum fluctuations at a basic level are just pairs of particles that leap in and out of existence when time is slowed to a near standstill. They have always existed. They can be in more than one place at a time, and they hold infinite amounts of energy. But wait a minute. They're omnipresent. They've always existed. They are infinite. And they operate outside the bounds of space and time. Could it be that science is actually beginning to prove the very existence of God? Well, the one thing we do know for sure is that our universe and everything in it is nothing short of a miracle. The fact that there is life on Earth against all odds is even more miraculous. 
Life still remains a mystery to science. The conditions required to create life are so unique that scientists can never recreate or copy it. So, does this answer our first question? Did everything come from nothing? Or is there even such a thing as nothing? For us, it all boils down to what we choose to put our faith in, science or God.